Hi guys, I've got some requests here for rubber band powered rockets or missiles. I've got Darren Siu, Bobcat Gaming and Ban Son Me. Apologies for pronunciation, I've no doubt I've got all three of those wrong. Anyway, I just happen to have a couple of cardboard tubes that I used for a different project recently. And I was looking at them and I thought, yeah, they'll probably make rockets or missiles. If I use one as the launch tube and the other as the actual rocket, stick some rubber bands so they go down inside and push it down so it stretches the rubber bands. I'll put some sort of a release mechanism on the bottom to hold it and see if it works. I might put a bit of foam on the top just so it doesn't hurt anybody if it hits them. On the bigger tube I'll cut little slots across the top to hold the rubber bands in place and on the other tube I'll cut a little V-shaped notch in the bottom to hook the rubber band onto and then I'll probably drill a hole through there so we can put a peg in to actually hold it in position ready for launch. So, slot in the top first. I'll get a file to open that out a bit, I think. Well, might not need to. They go in there anyway. Yeah, they'll go in. So we'll need to join a load of these rubber bands together because they're only small. And then on this one, I was going to file a slot. I've given up with those rubber bands. They're obviously well past their sell-by date and they're breaking as I'm using them. I've got some slightly different rubber bands which are a little bit thicker. So I've put them in there. I've only got two. Try and get it so you can see what I'm doing. Just push them down. peg in there. I'll use this for now. Yep. So I can just pull that out and that will shoot the rocket. And that hits the ceiling. Make that hole a little bit bigger using this hole punch just so it's easier to find it. There we go. Gives me a bit more space to move around. For absolutely no good reason other than I've got this pretty sticky backed holographic paper I shall cover the outside of the launch tube. glued that on the end. I'll trim it now. Soft point to our rocket so we don't hurt anybody with it. I'll just put the bits together close up so you can see what I'm doing then I'll go and put it on the table and launch it. So that's our two holes to lock it in place when it's ready to launch and that's my peg on a bit of string. So that's holding it ready to launch. So, let's give it a try. Oh, 
This time I've doubled the number of rubber bands, so see if we can get a bit more height. Well that works for me. Obviously you could keep increasing the number of rubber bands to make it more and more powerful. You probably need a slightly bigger tube though because the rubber bands start to get in the way of the missile if there's not enough clearance around the edges. But uh, that works. We could just do hand launch like this. But that'll do. If you want to make one yourself, feel free, and I would suggest a slightly larger tube and more rubber bands so you've got more power.